Howdy everybody. What you're going to see in this video is my incredible wife building stairs. And she built a little deck and now she's building stairs. It's, well, we'll show it to you from the beginning. All right, enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. Good morning, baby. I am sorry. Finally, I built the deck because I have a problem with the stair. So, I will show you how I build it. Okay, I use a floating concrete poles and connect it 4x4 four four and 2x6 uh, the joist over there and connect with the porch so yeah. I use cash to buy all material in the next project I have to make a handrail from the deck to the step. I'm sorry, honey, but I had to do it. <coughs> Hi, babe. Right now, it's pretty safe for me. Hi, honey. Look at my outfit. <laughs> I just bought this overall three days ago from Bill. The price is four ninety nine plus tax is five forty three. It's pretty good price. So and it fit me. This is good for me. I don't have to adjust pants anymore, and it's very comfortable. I can put the cell phone here when I work, and well perfect when I work around the house honey if you want <laughs> I can buy it for you honey <laughs> hey baby I cannot stop working also <laughs> so I I made a decision to install the stairs so it's Pretty well, baby, and the balance is really good too. Well, another one to go in the middle. We'll see, honey. Bye. Okay, right now I put the 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 piece of wood here uh, behind the stick. So. I think it's prettier than just deep like nothing so you can see through under this under the stair. I think it's pretty beauty. <laughs> Hi baby. I am not build a handrail yet. I have to balance the all step first and then I have to cut I don't know uh, the second step right you said I should put the post at the second step do you mean this part or this part do you understand just tell me the first one or second one <laughs> Almost, baby. Oh, I'm tired too. <laughs> I know you are tired. Me too, honey. I love you, baby. Bye-bye. And just, I don't want to confuse you, so when I say cut it out, cut out the step, your stairs go this way. Go this way. So this would be the end of your board here. So you just cut your board a notch in your board. So when you put your board back in, your stairs go this way, 
This is called a stair horse, and they go up and down. And this is the end of your board right here, and the stairs go this way. I hope you understand, baby. And good luck. It's looking great. I'm really amazed. It looks awesome. Okay, honey. I think I understand your video, so I show you what I understand it. <laughs> okay, this is correct. Put it here like this and clamp it and cut this right here. I mean here, here. Oh, cut here in the post shape like this right and put it back correct my wife is really amazing i have to be kind of quiet but uh as you can see by these stairs that she's built um yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty jazzed pretty amazed i have different plans for the layout and you know i use six by six posts for everything not four by fours so I'll, I'll have to change it out but i'm really impressed and i'm sure that you are too so i just wanted to say thank you for watching and i hope uh, to conclude this little video series with her finished product after she figures out how to cut miters and uh, gets a handrail on there. Uh, I'll do my best to try and tell her how to do it um, with videos or examples or something. But uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be a trip. All right, enough for now. Hey, baby. <laughs> I thinking about take the. I don't know. This wood is still okay. And. I'm thinking about to use this for the handrail you know it's like a I don't know it's enough or not and it's, this wood is good enough to make a handrail I don't know honey it looks like a, something can find around our property <laughs> bye okay honey I just cut the wood by the jigsaw. Yeah. I think it's fit. <laughs> you see, honey. Bye. Hi, baby. Today is no sunshine. That's what that is make cool today. And I am sitting outside the house and peeling the wood skin you know I think it looks better now so well I miss you yes honey this is my handrail Ooh, it's not perfect honey I use the evergreen wood from last year that we cut I'm not really used it, but good to have, baby. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, this is a uh, one side. I'm not finished yet, but I think it's almost done. <laughs> I have to do something with in this place something okay and right now I'm gonna add another hand drill here well it should be finished soon so and then I'm gonna do this I'm gonna put this here What do you think? Well, I just got the word that uh, Sonny has cut her hand, finger, 
on the chop saw. Um, wow, I'm I'm stuck here, and I don't know. I've got dear friends that are, you know, one friend Mark. He followed uh, the ambulance to the hospital. I mean, if it's an ambulance, it's got to be pretty pretty bad. Um, hopefully, it's not as bad as. It could be, I don't know. I'm on pins and needles waiting to hear what the hell's going on. Um, I don't know if I'll have video photos or anything to follow this, but um, I will keep you posted as soon as I know. Ah, I, oh God, I can only imagine. I mean, I've cut myself on a circular saw once. She got herself on the chop saw. Can't be good. I'm guessing it she didn't uh, I don't know how oh either she had her hand too close or uh, she was trying to cut something that sucked into the saw um, she put something a piece of wood or a board or something and it wasn't adequately backed up I, I just I can't imagine I don't know uh, chop saws um, Pretty, could be pretty bad so I'll keep you posted let you know what's going on like I said I'm on pins and needles here uh, you know whatever 6,000 miles away oh I'm getting a message in here so I'll let you go and keep you posted bye well yeah I, I got a photo sent to me from my friend Mark and uh, it's a little gruesome. I'm not going to share it. But, uh, yeah, sadly, oh, my God. And, you know, I was, I was so excited to see her little video that I just showed you about, you know, how she was getting ready to cut one more piece. And I guess that's when it happened. Um, but, yeah, she kind of lost a finger and part of another one. And. And it's pretty terrible. I, I, I'm pretty sad that I'm 6,000 miles away and I can't be there, you know. But anyway, I, I just, I'm not, I guess I'm going to finish this video here. So, uh, but just in closing, God, I, I have some wonderful friends. I mean, everybody supported her. You know, they followed the ambulance to the hospital and, um, Heck, Dan even cleaned up everything so she doesn't have to deal with it when she comes home and see it. And uh, and Mark, he followed the ambulance right to the hospital. And Miss Judy, she sat there with her and Mark sat there. And, you know, everybody's support, um, you know. I just, um, I have a lot of really good friends. And just in closing, um, they, they shared a story with me from the hospital and uh, it was it was her ring finger and she still had her ring on and the doctor worked and worked on her ring finger to get the ring off and got the ring off without cutting it. It was my grandmother's ring and um, so she said, well, put it on the other hand for me, please. And so he put it on the other hand and she said, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't marry you. I've, I'm already married to a wonderful man. So at least she had a little bit of sense of humor. And, you know, I don't know if it was an attempt to uh, cheer everybody up, but my friend Chris sent me a text saying, well, at least now she's a qualified shop teacher. Um, I'm sure his wife clobbered him for that. But, uh, well, one more thing that I just have to brag on my wife a little bit. I mean, this whole thing's terrible and it's just horrible, but I, I got a chance to FaceTime with her. And um, basically, uh, you know, she was kind of in and out. She's still in the hospital, incidentally. But uh, basically, I asked her, I didn't ask her how it happened, I asked her how she got help. And this happened in my hangar. And at first she said she didn't think you know it was that bad and she looked at it and her finger was missing 
and she didn't have her telephone on her, so she walked a hundred yards to the house, bleeding, and got her phone, went back to the hangar, called Mark, our neighbor, and I think that's how it went down, and looked around in the hangar around the saw area and found her finger, and I don't know if it was her or Mark put it on ice, and Mark called 911, but what a trooper, man. I mean, that's, I'm not sure I would have had the composure to do all that, maybe I would, but uh, you know, that's, that's some composure and that is some bravery, I'll tell you. Anyway, I miss her dearly and um, God, I hope she gets well soon. Uh, that's it, uh, I'm out of here, bye.